All right, so at this point, I've already determined that the this speaker here uh, could use replacing. What I did, uh, which I didn't show, was I took the good amplifier, the the orange colored orange amp, and I uh, took its output and I fed it to the speaker while it was still mounted in the case here, this speaker. Uh, and I observed it still had the same buzzing sound. But I wanted to be sure that it wasn't something else uh, besides a bad speaker, like maybe some kind of dust or something was inside the speaker causing a rattling sound. Uh, so I decided to pull it out uh, and then uh, have it plugged into this amplifier and run it. And yeah, it's absolutely a bad speaker. But there's something kind of interesting that I'd, I'd like to show you. Okay, so I have my guitar plugged into the amplifier, and let me zoom in just a little bit, and you can hear the buzzing sound when I plug the string. Pick it up. So now the speaker is resting on my hands, and you can still hear the buzzing sound. Now here's the interesting part. If I twist the speaker frame slightly, the buzzing will go away. Or if I twist it the opposite way, it'll get worse. And now I'll twist it the opposite way. I don't know if that's easy to hear. That's the opposite way. And this is the other way. So what's happening is the voice coil inside here, you can't see through this, but the voice coil is just dragging on the insides, and it's creating a buzzing sound. It's possible that it got damaged at some point after it was installed, or it's possible that it was tightened down so hard that the uh, there was a slight distortion in the frame. Or when it was coned from the beginning, it was just simply misaligned. I don't really know. At this point, uh, these are only $30 if you order them directly from Orange. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do that rather than messing around with this. Um, it's tempting, though, to try to just bend it and get it to work again. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep the speaker around somewhere and, you know, maybe years later I'll have a blown speaker and I'll need something quick and I'll just try to bend this and make it work again or something. But it's only $30. Uh, so... I'm going to go ahead and just replace it. That's the uh that's what's inside. I don't want to cause a short here, so I won't rotate it all the way, but anyway, just thought that was pretty interesting. <laughs>